So, back in school now. We got to calculate escape velocity, how fast a vehicle, I guess, needs to be traveling to escape the pull of the Earth's gravity permanently. So, it's not going to orbit and come back. It's not going to go in a long, long elliptical orbit and come back. It's going to leave Earth completely. Here's the data. I suggest you pause the video and try and figure it out yourself, you know, put the old grey matter to work. But uh, the solution will be coming up in five seconds. All right, here we go. So, we know that it takes a certain amount of energy to leave Earth. So base this problem around energy and then combine it with Newton's law of gravitational force. Newton, sorry, I should say Newton's universal law of gravitation. So, uh, work done requires a resultant force acting over a certain distance. So the work done in this case is kinetic energy in order to leave the pull of Earth's gravity. Get go fast enough that you overcome that force. So starting with Newton's universal law of gravitation, what we can then do is substitute F for the work done over the distance. And you'll notice that on the bottom of both of these equations, they're both in meters, they're both measures of distance. So we can cancel out uh, one measure of distance at the bottom of each equation. And the work we're doing is kinetic energy. Uh, transferring thrust, uh, burning chemical fuel, uh, transferring that into kinetic energy. We cancel a couple of m's on each side and that leaves us with the derived calculation to uh, figure out escape velocity. Then you just simply plug in the values like so. So here's our equation, there's our values, you need to remember that the radius of the Earth is stated in kilometers, so you'll need to multiply that by 10 times, uh, by 10 to the power of 3 for kilometers. This gives us a final answer of 11,155 meters plus a whole bunch of decimals. But since we used uh, two decimal places as our minimum, sig sorry, two significant figures was the minimum in the problem, you would really need to state your problem, your answer to the problem in two significant figures, which gives us 11,000 meters a second or 11 kilometers a second. Pretty speedy. So you jump very hard for that one.